Siku ya leo nina mhubiri ambaye ni mhubiri wetu hapa. I want uh, oh my god kwa sababu ni neno la Bwana si ni vizuri tuisimamie. Tusimame ni saidia kurete mhubiri wa siku ya leo ambaye ni Steve Kemani. Amen amen. Karibu sana. Karibu sana. Oh god bless you. Amen amen. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Haleluya. Nipungie tu mkono, nipungie tu mkono katika jina la Yesu. Haleluya. Geukia jirani yako kwa ma- mwambie uko mahali panapostahili. Eh, hey, uko mahali panapostahili. Nataka tu fungua kinywa chako mwambie Bwana ni asante kwa umbali ambao ametuleta tunapoenda kusikiza neno lake i believe Mungu wako na sababu ya sisi kuwa pale tumefika katika jina la Yesu. Kwa dakika tu moja, fungua kinywa chako, fungua kinywa chako, fungua kinywa chako katika jina la Yesu. Just tell God I'm expecting from you. I'm expecting from you. I'm expecting from you, oh God. Ninata tamani Bwana ukanena na moyo wangu. Nena na moyo wangu katika jina la Yesu, katika jina la Yesu. Father, I thank you. Oh Lord, I bless your holy name. Ninakutukuza mfalme wa ajabu. Hakuna Mungu mwingine ila ni wewe. Hakuna wa kutukuzwa ila ni wewe. Tunakutamani, tunakutazama mfalme uishie milele. Master, we give you glory. Jesus, be exalted, my Father and my God. Hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe. Na siwanze tu kumpatia Bwana sifa kwa sababu ya vile amekulinda, amekuhifadhi. Imagine tumebaki kisha tu siku chache tu ili tukaweza kumaliza mwaka huu lakini bwana amekushikilia Oh Father we thank you. Mo fungua tu kinywa chako. Mwambie Bwana ni asante. Mwambie ni asante. Mwambie ni asante. Mwambie Bwana ninakutamani. Ninatamani Bwana nikaone mwisho wa mwaka huu katika jina la Yesu. Ninajua ya kwamba mfalme ukiwa pamoja na mimi nitashinda. I will overcome in the name of Jesus. Fungua kinywa chako. Usichoke kwa sababu wakati kama huu as we are making these declarations I believe and I have faith ya kwamba Mungu akiwa pamoja nasi lazima tu tashinda lazima tutashinda katika jina la Yesu usichoke mwambie Bwana ninatazamia kwako i am looking unto you the author and the finisher of my faith oh lord establish me in your goodness establish me in your faithfulness oh god oh I love you Jesus. Usichoke tuendelea tu kumwambia Bwana, muabudu Bwana. Sio lazima kuwe na wimbo, sio lazima tu eti kuna wimbo ama instruments naimba, lakini you can worship God. Tulifunzwa hapo wakati mwingine kwamba jifunze kumwabudu Mungu hata kama hakuna mziki, hata kama hatuongozi na nyimbo. Muambie Bwana, yale umenitendea ni makuu. Oh Father, I worship your name. Ninakushukuru mfalme uishie milele. I thank you heavenly father. Wewe ni mwaminifu sana. Wewe ni mwaminifu sana. I thank you, oh Lord. Blessed be your name, oh God. Blessed be your name, my Father. Blessed be your name, oh God. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Ninakushukuru, ninakutukuza. Wewe ni Mungu, hakuna wa kulinganishwa na wewe. We give you glory we give you glory we give you glory Hakuna mwingine kama wewe Bwana hakuna mwingine kama wewe Baba I thank you Jesus I worship you Lord I give you honor Nakupenda mfalme uishie milele I thank you Jesus We thank you Jesus Umeahidi Bwana huniachi You have promised me Lord how to watch kata kamwe We thank you Jesus. Umeahidi ewe Bwana uniachi. Hadi mwisho wa dahari ulisema uniachi. Mimi ninaiweka imani yangu kwako 
Bwana Umeahidi Umeahidi ewe Bwana Uniachi Hadi mwisho Hadi mwisho ada hali ulisema Uniachi Owe oh, we ni Mungu we we ni Mungu Anzisha kazi nzuri ndani yetu ya kwamba ataikamilisha Sijui neno hili ni lanani ya subuhi ya leo But I believe ya kwamba mungu alia anzisha kazi nzuri ndani ya moyo wako Kazi nzuri ndani ya mwaka huu Haja kuleta hadi hapa umefika ili ya kuache Hamesema ya kwamba atakapo anza na webe lazima atamalizia Hivyo tunapo inuwa sauti ya tutukimba wimbo huo mara ya mwisho Inataka umanisha karika jina la yesu Ya kwamba buwana umeahidi ya kwamba hauta niacha Kama ulianza na mimi januari Tumefika disemba hata wakati umepaki Siku chache zilizo bakia buwana Hauta niacha katika jina la yesu Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
Haleluya. Kwa ambao hawanijui naitwa Steve Njoroge nimeokoka. Yesu ni Bwana ninahubiri kama nimeokoka. And I bless the Lord. Mimi ni ni mzee kijana nimeoa, nimebarikiwa na mke na mtoto na ninashukuru kwa sababu ya hayo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini kinachofurahisha moyo wangu ni ya kwamba kunaye aliye ndani yangu hata nikifa dakika hii kuna mahali ninaenda. That is the greatest joy. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unajua ni vizuri kuwa na rafiki kama Yesu. Unajua hawa marafiki wengine ni wazuri wakiwa hapa duniani. Lakini utakapofika mahali unaendaga peke yako Najua pale tunasemaga six feet under. Hapo unaenda peke yako, urafiki yako nayo inaishia hapo. Lakini ya Yesu bado inaendelea. Haleluya. Haleluya. So ni vizuri kuwa na rafiki kama Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So asubuhi ya leo karibu katika kiti chako umebarikiwa katika jina la Yesu na ninaamini kwamba Mungu ametia unjumbe Ah ndani ya moyo wangu na ili tukapate kushiriki kwa pamoja. Angalia jirani yako mwambie leo tunahubiri pamoja. Haleluya. Ah uh, this is not in my topic. Actually sikuwa nimeprepare hivyo, lakini wakati tu nilikuwa pale nikasikia Bwana akinihimiza. Uh, put for us Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse number 8. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse number 8. Haleluya. Amen. 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 Siju jumbe huu ni wa nani? Biblia inasema hivi, put it in King James. Ah uh, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. I'm interested in only that part. Lakini unaweza soma hiyo nyingine inasema and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Lakini inasema better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hebu tuweke tu kwa Kiswahili ili tukapate kuona kwa pamoja. Mwisho wa jambo ni afadhali kuliko mwanzo wake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tumekuja na Mungu kutoka Januari Februari hesabu hiyo mezi yote 11 imepita sasa tuko December tarehe kumi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe mambo yamekuwa si mambo you know it's good to to be real tunajua vile mambo yamekuwa tunajua vile mambo yamekuwa yakienenda lakini Mungu kwa nguvu na, he, na hekima yake ametusimamisha na tumeweza kufika pale tumefika Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa sababu mwisho wa jambo Paulo akaandikia wa Galatia kauliza nani aliye eh sitaki kutumia hiyo jina <laughs> eh, who bewitched you kwa sababu mlianza vizuri mnamalizia eh kwa sababu mwisho wa jambo ni mzuri kuliko mwanzo so how you end the year unavyomalizia mwaka ina mata zaidi kuliko vile ulivyoanza bwana Yesu asifiwe haleluya Sijui kama ulianza mwaka ukiwa uko chini mambo hayako yanaenda vizuri don't you you can make a choice and a decision to finish well Bwana Yesu asifiwe Haleluya Amen 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 Bwana Yesu asifiwe Kama nilivyosema that is not part of my message nilihimizo tu ya kwamba let us finish strong Mambo yanaweza kuwa ni mazito but let us not allow the devil to discourage us Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen. I want to speak on a small topic. Ya kwamba Bwana alitia ndani ya moyo wangu na ninaamini itakuwa ni ya manufaa kwetu sisi wote. I want to talk about being a difference maker. Being a difference maker. Sijui nita tafsiri hiyo kwa Kiswahili namna gani. Hmm, waswahili. Kuwa kuwa wa kuleta tofauti eh kuwa mtu ama binadamu wa kuleta tofauti i think that is a good one bwana yesu asifiwe eh kuwa binadamu ama mtu wa kuleta tofauti and being a difference maker unajua biblia iko na vitabu vingi na all those books actually inaitagwa a library of books kwa sababu ni mchanganyiko wa vitabu vingi bwana Yesu asifiwe na unajua vitabu huandikwa kwa sababu ya kupitisha ujumbe fulani there is a message that is being kitabu chochote tu utakapochopata kimeandikwa mahali popote any printed book it is either motivational it is either educational 
it is either nutritional it is any political yani lazima kitabu hakiwezi andikwa bila kusudi bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu atukuzwe kwa hivyo wakati biblia iliandikwa ilikuwa na sababu fulani all the things that are written between genesis to revelation ziko na sababu na ukiangalia pale ni ni story za binadamu Mhm. I'm trying to make a base of what I'm speaking about. Mungu ndio aliingilia into the affairs of men na watu wakainuka na wakatenda mambo ambayo yalifanya wa majina yao yakaandikwa. You see, kama tukisoma history. History unasikia mambo ya maumau, siju unasikia mambo ya you know all the history about you know wakati taifa lilipoanzia the colonialism you know the history of, of, of the great babylon haya mambo yote yamenakiliwa lakini ukifuatilia nyuma utaona behind all those kuna mtu amen hallelujah ukiangalia genesis to revelation kuna majina ya watu yameandikwa pale amen and these were human beings like you and me walikuwa ni binadamu kama wewe na mimi bwana yesu atukuzwe ninajaribu kusema nini they did something extraordinary unajua ukisema extraordinary ni kumaanisha umetoka kwa ile ya kawaida na umeingia kwa ile isiyo ya kawaida you've gone beyond what is ordinary and that's why majina yao yaliandikwa pale kwa sababu ya walitenda ama walifanya mambo na wakaleta utofauti ndani ya maisha ya watu waliokuwa wakiishi nao bwana yesu asifiwe one thing i've come to know people will not look for you because of your similarity bwana yesu asifiwe watu hawata hawata kutafuta kwa sababu ya ukawaida wako Mhm. Hallelujah. Watu hawata associate na wewe kwa sababu ya ukawaida wako. They will look and associate with you because of your difference. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Wakati Mungu alimuinua mchungaji wetu, you know, uh, we follow him because he has something that we desire in him. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Hallelujah. Najaribu kutengeneza base ili kila mtu akashike ni nini najaribu kusema. Wakati Mungu ameweka kitu ndani yako, you stop becoming ordinary. You become extraordinary. Na nawaanda nimesema ya kwamba people do not look for you because of your similarity. They will look for you because of your difference. Hallelujah. Watu watakutafuta kwa sababu wakati unapoimba au wakati unapoabudu, uwepo wa Mungu ukishuka watu wanabarikiwa people will look for you because of that wakati unaposimama unanena matumaini you speak hope to people watu watakutafuta lakini kama utakaa kama wengine tu unaposimama only negative words come from you hakuna mtu atataka ku associate na wewe bwana yesu atukuzwe so the people who are written in the bible they are all difference makers na hakuna wakati unaona jina la mtu limenakiliwa katika Biblia na ikawa tu alikuwa mtu wa kawaida. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Walipitia changamoto ndio. They went through challenges, yes, but they overcame the challenges to become who they were. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Now, ninajua mambo yako vile yalivyo in the economy of Kenya today. But there is something that God desires of us. Hallelujah. Let us start from this book Judges chapter 3 tuanzie maybe 29 up to 31 Judges 23 I want us to start from that point alafu tutaflow katika jina la Yesu Ambia jirani yako leo tunahubiri pamoja Eh usidhubutu kulala kwa sababu you are going to be a difference maker <laughs> Amen Judges chapter 3 ah uh, verse yes once verse 29 and they slew of moab that uh, at that time about 10000 men all lusty and all men of valor and there escaped not a man 30 
So Moab was subdued that day under the hand of Israel, and the land had rest for score years. Continue. And after him was who? Shamga, the son of Anath, which slew the Philistine 600 men with an ox god, and he also delivered Israel. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hebu tuwekea hiyo in Kiswahili ndiyo maybe sisi wote tupate huo ujumbe vizuri. Let's put it. Aha. Baada ya Ehudi mwana wa Anati, Shamgari alishika nafsi nafasi yake. Yeye aliwaua wa Filisti sita kwa fimbo ya kuchungia. <laughs> Naye pia aliwakomboa wa Israeli. I'm talking about being a difference maker. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Maybe media team uh, display for us what an ox god is ama hiyo fimbo ya kuchungia ngombe. Kama unaangalia screen yako you can see that object. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. That is what in King James is translated as ox god. Ox god inatumika unaona hapo mbele iko na kitu kama nikachuma kadogo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe na hiyo ingine ni mti. Hiyo kitu ama hicho kifaa hutumika wakati unapolima na ngombe. E, generation nyingine haiwezi elewa hiyo. Haleluya. Wale wanajua kulima na ngombe. Murao. <laughs> Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Wakati umeweka pale ile nira kwa ngombe na imeanza kulima, unajua wakati mwingine anakuwa mjeuri hataki kuenda. So badala ya kumpiga unatumia hile hichi kifaa. Ukimguza tu kidogo hivi anasikia uchungu anasonga mbele. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So it is used to control the oxen when they are farming. So ebu jaribu kuimagine mujamaa ametumia hicho kifaa na ameua wafilisti wangapi? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa wengine wetu sasa tungeanza kuimagine alikuwa sijui na landmine, sijui AK47, you know, G3 rifle. Mujamaa alitumia hicho kifaa kilicho kwa screen. I believe everybody can see. Hallelujah. You see, being a difference maker does not mean you need to have extraordinary things. Hallelujah. Sijui ni wangapi wanaelewa ninasema nini. Nipungie mkono kama unaelewa ninasema nini. Hallelujah. Tumeanza na shamga. Jina ya huyu jamaa hautaipata tena anywhere kwa Biblia. It only appears in that place. Judges chapter 3 verse 31 that is the only place utapata hiyo jina hebu nikuulize mtu kabla jina lake linakiriwe kwenye biblia he must have done something extraordinary bwana yesu asifiwe now god uh, god has put in you mungu ametia ndani yako kitu fulani we are all different na ukitaka kujua sisi wote tuko tofauti maybe wale tu kutoka kwa hii kanisa na sisemi tu that's the only thing ukichukua hiyo thumb print ama thumb kidole chako cha gumba na uangalie cha jirani yako havifanani population ya dunia sasa hizi i think we are how many billion eh tumefika 8 last niliacha tukiwa 6 sasa hizi tuko 8 8 billion imagine watu bilioni nane na hakuna aliye na gumba ama thumbprint kama yako imagine imagine that is how unique you are bwana yesu asifiwe you see wakati tunapopitia mambo mazito one of the things shetani hutumia ni the spirit of discouragement and that is why i'm speaking about it this morning being a difference maker being a difference maker wakati kama huu tunaona mambo ni mazito na wakati shetani anajaribu kuinua masauti negative unapotazama mbele hauoni nafasi unapoangalia nyuma hauoni nafasi unapoangalia kando na kando hauoni nafasi you do not have any hope lakini hebu angalia huyo jamaa alitumia kifaa kama hicho na akatengeneza jina lake in the book of history popote biblia inasomwa jina la huyu jamaa linasomwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Um tuweke pia Exodus chapter 4 and verses number 
tupate jamaa mwingine anaitwa Musa. Wakati huu Musa alikuwa anatembea na Mungu na akaanza kumwambia Mungu mavije ma sababu kama vile watu naambia Mungu. Oh, siwezi siwezi ongea vizuri. Mimi nina kigugumizi. Kigugumizi ni stammering. Moses alikuwa anaambia Mungu ama stammerer. Siwezi ongea vizuri. Kwa hivyo wewe unataka niende nikaokoe wana Israeli na niende nionane na Farao, mimi siwezi ongea vizuri. Mungu akamwambia ninajua nimeweka nini ndani yako. Na to prove to him akamuuliza, then the Lord said to him, what is that in your hand? Akasema ni nini? A staff. Huyu jamaa alikuwa akulisha ngombe. Sasa hii sio ox god, hii ni kijiti ya kawaida. Hii ni kijiti tu ya kawaida ya kulisha ngombe. Na akaulizwa na Mungu, what is that that you have in your hand? Akasema niko na nini? Niko na kijiti. Ehe, tuendelee verse 3. Let's see. The Lord said to him, throw it on the ground. Moses threw it on the ground and it became a snake and he ran afar from it. Akapotea. Rudi verse 4, endelea verse 4, sorry. Then the Lord said to him, reach out your hand and take it by the tail. So Moses reached out and took hold of the snake and it turned back into a staff in his hand. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa sababu wakati mwingine tunaangalia vile ambavyo Bwana ametubariki na tunatazama tunasema aa kama Mungu amekuwa amenibariki kama fulani maybe ningeweza kufanyia Mungu kazi ama maybe ningeweza kufanya jambo hili na kufanya jambo lile lingine lakini asubuhi ya leo kama Mungu alita hakumwambia enda utafute mtingine alimwambia hiyo hiyo ulio nayo weka chini Bwana Yesu asifiwe Praise the Lord. Nimekuja kutia mtu nguvu asubuhi ya leo. Sijui ni nini umebeba mkononi, lakini Mungu anasema, what you have is more than enough to make a difference in your generation. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Kile Bwana amekupatia mikononi mwako kimetosha kuleta utofauti katika dunia unayoishi. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na tukiangalia kwenye Biblia, nimesema there are very many names I can quote. Na wacha tuangalie kadhaa. Tumeangalia in Exodus. Sasa tuangalie Judges chapter 15 verse number 15. Judges 15 15. Just put for us Judges 15 15. Tunapata jamaa mwingine anaitwa Samson. Samson kila mtu anajua alikuwa ni mtu mwenye anointing. And wakati zile nguvu zilipomkujia ma roho wa Bwana alipomkujia, nguvu zake zilikuwa zinapita kiasi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na wakati kama huu alikuwa amezingirwa na maadui na Biblia inasema finding a fresh jawbone of a donkey he grabbed it and struck down a thousand men I want you to see zile vitu hawa watu wanatumia nimeonyesha oxgod maybe tuonyeshe hiyo jawbone ya punda inakaa namna gani ndio unajua watu wengine wanafikiria bwana Yesu asifiwe hiyo ndio inaitwa jawbone ya punda <laughs> <laughs> Unajua wakati mwingine ni vizuri unasoma Biblia and you put it into context. This is exactly what the Bible says he used. Na aliwa watu wangapi? Na tumesoma hapo. Aliwa watu wangapi? 1000. Ule mwingine alitumia ile nyingine akauwa 600. Huyu alitumia hiyo unaona kwa screen na akauwa wangapi? Elfu moja. So I keep asking yes ndio alikuwa na nguvu zingine lakini wakati ule kulikuwa kuna uta you know the bow and arrow zilikuwa zimekuwa invented by that time kwa nini hakuendea hizo the spear and all those things zilikuwa invented wa ule wakati kwa sababu tulikuwa na goldsmith na, na wale wana, wana, wana tengeneza vitu kwa vyuma bwana Yesu asifiwe lakini biblia inasema ya kwamba eh, he used this a fresh jawbone of a donkey and killed a thousand men excuse yako ni gani ebuliza jirani yako excuse yako ni gani muulize sababu yako yenye unasema ni gani muulize nilisema leo tunahubiri kwa pamoja which excuse are you giving <laughs> amekuambia namna gani eh <laughs> which excuse uh, nakupatia excuse gani haya tuangalie tena judges chapter 6 verse number 15 unajua nataka tu to put it into context about being a difference maker kwa sababu wakati Mungu anapokutazama 
kuna mambo Mungu ameona iko ndani yako lakini we mwenyewe unajidunisha. Wakati huu Mungu alikuwa ananena na mjamaa anaitwa Gideon. Now Gideon pardon me my lord Gideon replied but how can I save Israel my clan is the weakest in Manasseh and I am the least in my family Huyu ni Gideon anaongea Malaika wa Mungu amekuja akamwambia wewe ndio utakayeokuwa Israeli Anaangalia paka anaangalia ni kama kulikuwa na mtu mwingine anaongeleshwa No wonder anamuuliza pardon me excuse me sir tafadhali unaongea na mimi ama unaongea na mtu mwingine kwa sababu ukiniangalia mimi anasema eh, my clan yani uko wangu is the weakest ndio mdhaifu kabisa katika Israeli yote huko ndiko ninatoka na sasa hata ukiangalia wachana na ukoo enda kwa familia kwa familia yetu <laughs> mimi ndio ule i don't even i'm the least mimi ndio ule yani after wame consider wale wengine sasa ndio wanakumbukaka kuna mwingine lakini Mungu alikuwa ameona nini something great in Gideon angalia jirani yako tena muulize unapeana excuse gani haleluya kwa sababu Mungu ako na jambo fulani angetaka kutenda na wewe tuangalie sasa in the new testament i want us to see people who did something extraordinary and they became part of history Matthew chapter 26 verse 6 and 7 Matthew 26 6 and 7 Hallelujah bado tunashika kitu Bwana Yesu asifiwe While Jesus was in Bethany in the home of Simon the leper a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume which she poured on his head as he was reclining at the table Twendelea tu verse number 8 kuna kitu nilipata ufunuo pale when the disciples saw this they were indignant why this waste they asked endelea continue verse 9 this perfume could have been sold at a high price and the money given to the poor continue verse 10 Aware of this Jesus said to them why are you bothering this woman she has done a beautiful thing to me 11 the poor you will always have with you but you will not always have me nilipata ufunuo pale wakati huu wote amekaa pale hakuna mtu alikaa akafikiria wakati wa Yesu umekaribia na amesema amefanya jambo la dhamana kwangu mimi because she anointed him with expensive oil worship bwana yesu asifiwe worship hiyo ni kumwabudu haleluya na no wonder yesu aliwakashifu wanafunzi wake kwa sababu ya kusema ingeuzwa tupe hiyo pesa maskini aliwaambia maskini mtakuwa nao lakini jambo alilolitenda kwangu mimi ukisoma pale chini atasema amenitayarisha kwa kifo changu Bwana Yesu asifiwe because some of the things we do ukifanya na revelation Mungu anakuinua. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah. Uh, kuna examples mingi ningetaka kusema. Maybe let's look at the last one. First Chronicles chapter 4 verse number 9. Kuendelea tunapata mjamaa anaitwa Jabez. First Chronicles 4 Uh, just put it up for us to some first chronicles 4 verse number 9 nasema jabez was more honorable than his brothers his mother had named him jabez saying i gave birth to him in pain angalia ile circumstances ule jamaa alikuwa nayo jabez cries out to god of israel oh that you may you will bless me and enlarge my territory let your hand be with me and keep me from harm and keep me from harm so that i will be free from pain and god granted his request jamaa aliingia kwa history kwa sababu ya simple prayer angalia jirani yako mwambie you can still make a difference Mwambie tena you can still make a difference. You can still make a difference. Hallelujah. Na simuhubirie tu mwambie you unaweza unaweza leta tofauti. Unaweza leta tofauti kwa nyumba yako. Unaweza leta tofauti hata kwa kijiji chako. E, mwambie tena mwambie we are preaching together mwambie unaweza leta tofauti nyumbani mwenu. 
You can make a difference in your home. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa wakati mwingi now I'm preaching to myself. <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe. One thing God alini when God was speaking to me about you know what he has called me to do. Aliniambia number one is worship. And number two is to preach the message of hope and to teach hope. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuhubiri tumaini. Na nikakuja kujiuliza maswali mengi sana. Kwa sababu number one, kabla mwalimu hajafundisha lazima afunzwe. Am I right? Wale walimu wako hapa. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Si lazima uende teachers college ili ufunzwe jinsi ya ku ya kufunza. Now, wakati mwingine Mungu anatumia experiences in your life sio kwa sababu ya wewe ni kwa sababu ya wengine. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. The Bible says that all things work together for good. For them that love God and are called according to what? His purpose. Mambo yote hutendeka kwa wema. Ninataka kunenea kuhusu jambo moja ambalo it seems very controversial. Uchungu, pain. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wangapi wamepitia uchungu? Ninulie mkono. Umehisi tu uchungu. Uchungu wa namna yote. Either ni ulikatwa, ulihongwa na mawe, uli, uli, uli. You have gone through pain of any kind. Betrayal, kusalitiwa. That is also pain. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Now, wakati Mungu alikuwa akinipatia hii sermon, nilikaa nikamuuliza, "Sasa, hata hii <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Gokia jirani yako mwambie anahubiri kuhusu uchungu. Hallelujah. Pain can cause you to make a difference in a positive way. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haya. Ah, uh, ile scripture nimesoma ilikuwa Romans 8:28. Just put it up for us. Romans 8:28. Kuna kitu ningetaka kuguzia pale. Romans 8:28. Therefore, 8:28, 8:28. To and we know that all things work to uh, hmm, put it in King James. I like it in King James better. Mm. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Kuna jambo moja ambalo Bwana alinenea na likawa ni mzito sana. And he asked me, can I trust you with pain? Kwa sababu wakati mwingi tunafurahi wakati mambo ni mazuri. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Now, I want you to see an example of someone who used pain and made it into gain na akasaidia wana wa Israeli. Look with me in the Bible katika kitabu cha Judges chapter 11 from verse number 1. Judges chapter 11 from verses number 1. Tunapatana na jamaa anaitwa Jephthah. Jephthah, now Jephthah the Gileadite was a mighty man of valor. Yaani inamaanisha alikuwa ameungika. Aha. And he was the son of a Wengi wataki kusoma hiyo sana. Alikuwa son of Aya wengine waelewi hiyo alikuwa ni mwana wa Kahaba. And I put it better. His mother was a prostitute. Continue verse 2. Continue verse 2. Gilead's wife also bore him sons and when they were grown up. Tusome pamoja. They drove Tunaongea kuhusu brothers. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ndugu wa kuzaliwa pamoja. Same father, same Hallelujah. Walifanya nini? Walimfukuza. Wakamwambia, you are not going to get any inheritance in our family. They said because you are the son of another. Verse number three. So Jephthah fled from his brothers and settled in the land of Tob where a gang of scoundrels gathered around him and followed him. Haya. I want you to see the pain of betrayal. Look at verse number 10. Okay, I think verse number uh, 
Ah, yes, four. Some time later, when the Ammonites were fighting against Israel, verse five, the elders of Gilead went to get Jephthah from the land of Tob. Come, they say, be our commander so we can fight the Ammonites. Uh -huh. Jephthah said to them, Let's read. Didn't you hate me and drive me away from my father's house? Why do you come to me now when you are in trouble? How many of you can be trusted with pain? Wangapi wamepitia hiyo? Amen. Ama ninajihubiria. Kama tunahubiri tukiwa wengi nipungie mkono, nipungie mkono ah tuko wengi, tuko wengi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo hii ujumbe it has an impact. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Now, pain can be used for positive gain. Let me say that again. Pain can be used for positive gain. Nilikuwa ninasoma katika history Nikapata jamaa fulani anaitwa uh, Aha what is his name I'm looking for him I'm looking for him Louis Braille Ukienda kwa history utafute in the early 90s Louis Braille Braille kwa wale wame kula kula tu vitabu kidogo ambao wako na udhaifu wa macho ama the blind huwa hawa wanasoma vitabu kwa jinsi ya kuguza Sijui kama unajua vile. The blind wanatumia kitabu fulani kinaitwa Braille. Braille. Yaani inadunga dungwa they are able to akiguza hivi anaweza kusoma. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yule jamaa invent hiyo that method of writing anaitwa Louis Braille. No wonder inaitwa Braille. Kulikuwa na changamoto. Na hawa watu ambao wako na ama ni wako na they are blind, vipofu walikuwa ni kama wamekuwa cut out. Yaani hawaonekana ni kama watu hawana manufaa kwenye society. Lakini this guy invented what we call now braille. Kutumia a misfortune to make something good for the sake of the society. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asubuhi ya leo. I'm asking and I'm talking about pain. I can talk about Joseph in the book of Genesis chapter 37 from verse number 20 to 27 unaweza soma pale tunajua vizuri story ya Joseph he meant no evil to the brothers lakini biblia inasema hivi wakati alifika pale na wakasema wacha tumuue na tumrushe huko kwenye eh, nimesema uh, Genesis 37 20 to 27 Genesis Ah uh, These are the brothers saying Come now let's kill him and throw him into one of these cisterns and say that a ferocious animal devoured him then we will see what comes of his dreams and the 21 Then Reuben heard this he tried to rescue him from their hands let's not take his life he said Uh-huh Do not shed any blood throw him into this cistern here in the wilderness but don't lay a hand on him. Reuben said this to rescue him from them and take him back to his father. 23. So when Joseph came uh, to his brothers, they stripped him of his robe and the ornament robe he was wearing. 24. And they took him and threw him in the cistern. The cistern was empty. There was no water in it. Uh -huh, 25. Then, skia hiyo. As they sat to eat their meal. Mungu wangu. Mumerusha mutu ndani ya gedhima. Alafu munakaa hapo juu kukula. <laughs> How can wicked... Yeah? Huyu ni ndugu yao. Wamemrusha kwenye hicho kisima. Then hapo hapo juu wameketi wakule. Na wanajua wamefanya nini? Tell me what kind of pain was going through Joseph. I'm talking about pain. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uchungu. Now, ukiangalia years later, walikuja wakamuinamia. Lakini 
kwa sababu aliruhusu Mungu atumie ile situation. Amen. Noanda alisema hivi, men intended it for evil but God turned it for good. Hallelujah. Walikusudia kumaliza lakini kupitia ule uchungu Mungu alimtumia kuwakomboa wao wenyewe. Hebu jiulize, ukawekwa kwa situation ya Joseph, unaweza saidia hao watu? Ni swali tu. I'm asking a question. We are making a difference this morning. I'm talking about pain. Umesalitiwa kiwasi hicho. Na kuzidisha yani to add salt to injury wanaketi hapo juu kukula. Yaani wewe unawasikia na hiyo chakula ni, ni wewe umewaletea. Wamekurusha huko ndani, sasa wanakaa hapo juu nasikia tu wakikula minofu. <laughs> eh, wakisema venye oh god. Can you be trusted with pain? I have known people who have gone through pain and they have used the pain for the betterment of the society. Nimeona watu ambao waliachwa na wazazi wao wakiwa wadogo wakapitia maisha magumu wanapofikia na Mungu amewainua they change badala ya kutumia ule uchungu kuumiza wengine wanatengeneza houses of refuge children's homes yani anasema hakuna mtu mwingine atapitia kile nilichopitia that's a difference maker bwana Yesu asifiwe asubuhi ya leo ninauliza swali how many are willing to use the pain for the gain of the society Abuliza jirani yako. Uko tayari kutumia uchungu nao pitia? E, uliza jirani yako. Tumesema tunahubiri pamoja. Haleluya. Haulizi jirani, uliza jirani ama kama amelala muamshe muulize unatumia uchungu wako kufanyia nini? Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Wakati kama huu when the economy is going through such kind of a tough time na Mungu ametupatia haya maono. Na haitajengwa na watu kutoka nje. Ni sisi tu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. In that lack. Katika hiyo hali ngumu ya kiuchumi. Are you able to lift up yourself and say hata kama ninakosa, lazima Mungu tutakujengea hili nyumba. Wangapi wako tayari kusimama? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. How many are willing to stand to make their pain and make a difference? in the society. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Now, ninapomalizia. Kuna story ambayo ilipatiwa na nikakaa nikaifikiria. You see, to make a difference, sio lazima ufanye jambo kubwa. Something very small, kitu kidogo tu kinaweza leta tofauti maishani mwa binadamu, wenzako na hata the familia na hata the society around. Ah, wao ambao wamekaa kule pwani kuna wakati kuna tunaita low tide na high tide. Low tide ni wakati maji yanatoka kwenye the shore ama the beach yanaingia kule ndani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini ikifika masaa ya jioni yale maji hurudi. Amen. Sasa wakati mwingine yakirudi yanarudi na nguvu nyingi. Na wale samaki ambao sio strong wakati mwingine wanaletwa to the show. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So wakati huu ilikuwa ni msimu wa starfish. Starfish ni samaki ambaye anakaa kama nyota. Na they are light wako yani ni wepesi, si wazito. Wakati ile tide ilipokuja, ilikuja ikawaleta kwenye beach. Na wakawa ni wengi sana wameachwa pale. Sasa jamaa mmoja alikuwa tu kijana mdogo, akipita akaangalia akasema, what can I do to help this starfish? Ninaweza fanya jambo gani nikaweze kusaidia hizi starfish. Baada ya kukaa kwa dakika akaanza kuchukua moja moja akirusha back into the ocean. Anachukua moja anarusha. Anachukua nyingine anarusha. Akawa anafanya vile kwa tuseme masaa mengi pale. Then pakapita mzee mmoja mzee wa miaka. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Na wakati alipomwangalia akaona huyo ana waste two time akamuuliza wewe kijana what are you doing you're just wasting your time there are thousands of them you can't help them just let them be yule kijana alimwangalia tu na akaendelea kurusha akamuuliza yani hausikini na kuambia nini 
you can't change the situation alimwangalia tu akashika moja akairusha akamwambia hivi i just made a difference to that one that i have thrown nimefanya tofauti kwa huyo ambaye nimerudisha kwa maji bwana yesu asifiwe tunaweza shindwa kusaidia kenya mzima tunaweza shindwa kusaidia kijiji kizima tunaweza shindwa kusaidia familia nzima but we can be able to help one person haleluya unaweza kusaidia mtu mmoja tu and in that person you will make a difference bwana yesu asifiwe tunasema you are a difference maker tumesema sio lazima ufanye kitu kubwa huyo jamaa alikuwa anachukua tu hiyo samaki na anarusha na ni ukweli huyo samaki ambayo amerudishwa kule ndani ataenda atage mayai na kutakuwa na samaki wengine so contrary to what this old man was thinking this young man was making a difference so ninakuuliza hivi what do you have in your hand uko na nini mkononi mwako ambacho bwana anaweza tumia bwana yesu asifiwe haleluya maybe sisi wote hatujapewa kipawa cha kuhubiri na kusimama hapa lakini ukipatana na mtu huko nje unaweza nena na ukamtia moyo you have made a difference bwana yesu asifiwe you've made a difference i know wakati mwingi someone just wakati kama huu someone just needs mwingine tu amwambie everything will be okay mtu tu anahitaji tu kuja kuambie yatakuwa tu ni sawa maudo nimekuwa gera things will be okay things will turn out good sio mambo mengi kukuambia tu mambo yatakuwa mazuri and you have made a difference in that person's life Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa mara nyingi ninapoongoza na kuambia angalia jirani yako mwambie they look beautiful or handsome. Wakati unaambia mtu hivyo there is power in words. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna nguvu ndani ya maneno. Wakati unapoambia mtu you can make it. Unaweza tenda hili jambo, unaweza fanya hili, unaweza inuka, unaweza fanya hili jambo. You are encouraging someone. You are making a difference. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati nilianza nilisema watu hawata kutafuta kwa sababu ya wewe kuwa kawaida ama kuwa kama wao. People will look for you because of your difference. Swali, how different are you? Amen. Sijui ni nani ninauliza asubuhi ya leo. How different are you? Now, ninapomalizia. Najua unaanza kujiangalia sasa na unauliza lakini Steve mi nimejiangalia hii miaka yote sasa nimezeeka mimi naweza fanya nini mimi ataigeka demokoro miaka yako ni midhiru what can i do let me encourage you if you think you are not useful kama unafikiria wewe hauwezi tumika kama hauwezi fanya tofauti ningetaka tu fanya experiment moja jifungie tu kwa bedroom na uzime taa na uhakikishe kuna mosquito huko ndani Yes. Lock yourself in a room with a mosquito. That's when you will know you can make a difference. Kama mosquito inaweza kuhangaisha usiku mzima, usilale. Mosquito moja ambaye tu one slap umeyua. Mosquito moja inaweza fanya usilale usiku mzima. Unashinda ukitafutana nayo. You think you cannot make a difference? Hey, Yesu asifiwe. Angalia jirani yako muambie kama mosquito naweza let a difference, you can make a difference. Muambie tena, muambie tena, if a mosquito can make a difference, you can make a difference. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Muambie huyo mwingine, huyo maybe amesikia sana. Muambie mwingine, if a mosquito can make a difference, you can make a difference. Hey, Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. No matter how small or big you think you are you can do something you can do something na si ujihubiria mwambi i can do something ninaweza fanya jambo naweza fanya jambo you know jeke kaudo bwana yesu asifiwe and this morning no matter how difficult the times are you can make a difference in the house of god you can make a difference bwana yesu asifiwe kwa sababu wewe mwenyewe ulikuja hicho kiti umekikalia you've made a difference kwa sababu kama ungekuja hiyo kiti ingekuwa empty 
By just showing up, you made a difference. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So you do not have maybe kuomba unajua sio kila mtu akona ile neema tunafunzwa ndio maombi and we we train ourselves to pray lakini ninajua ya kwamba kuna watu hawana ile neema lakini maybe hawezi omba yale masaa mchungaji anaweza omba ama mtu mwingine ama evangelist na kina pastors wanaweza omba lakini ombi lako la dakika tano can save somebody bwana Yesu asifiwe so usijidunishe bwana Yesu asifiwe don't look down on yourself Nimesoma scriptures mingi kwenye Biblia. Now this is the end of the matter. Fear God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tumheshimu Mungu na tutende mambo ambayo ametuwezesha kutenda. Niseme hivi. If all of us did what we can be able to do, the world will not be the same again. Nirudie tena. If all of us can do what we can be able to do the world will be a different place. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asubuhi ya leo. Nataka tu funge tu macho yako kwa dakika tu moja. Wazungu husema leave the place better than you found it. As you're closing your eyes. As you're closing your eyes. Nimemaliza kuhubiri. As you are closing your eyes, ningetaka utafakari. Jiulize ni nini hichi ambacho Bwana ametia ndani yangu. Sio sisi wote tunaweza simama hapa tuimbisha ama tuhubiri. Na sio sisi wote tunaweza kufanya kazi ya ashari. Lakini maybe uko na neema ya kusalimia watu. Hata wengine mwingine nilisikia akisema yangu ni ya kuosha choo. And they make a difference. Yaani akisugua ile choo hata ukiingia unasikia imeoshwa. There are people who can do something perfectly. Lakini umekaa tu unasema sasa hata kupanguza kiti. Hata hiyo ni, ni service kweli. Yes. Kwa sababu hicho kiti ambacho umekalia kuna mtu alipanguza. You can make a difference. Na kwa dakika tu moja simama kwa miguu yako as I invite uh, the worship team to simama pale tu ulipo. Want someone on the machine katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu we are going to make a difference na hili ndilo ombi ningetaka tuombe katika jina la Yesu that i'm going to make a difference i'm going to make a difference i'm going to make yani nitaleta utofauti haijalishi unajua wakati mwingine tunaangalia tunasema ah si hii imefanywa na watu wengine ah ah you have a portion in your life katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu there is something you can do there is something you can. kuna jambo ambacho unaweza kufanya ya kwamba you will make a difference even in this ministry kuna mtu alisema tulihubiriwa hapa wakati mwingine akasema tafuta jambo la kufanya look for something to do because sisi wote hatuwezi simama hapa tuhubiri lakini there is so much that can be done huko na ninaamini ya kwamba you can make a difference. Oh, si ufungue tu kinywa chako, mwambie Mungu nimejidunisha muda mrefu. Nimejidunisha muda mrefu. Nimekuwa nikitazama ya kwamba wengine wako talented, wengine wamefanya hivi, wengine wanaweza fanya ama wengine ni bora kuliko mimi, wengine wanaweza fanya vile ambao mimi siwezi kufanya. Lakini asubuhi ya leo tunapomalizia mwaka huu, na siwanze kufanya stock taking ya mwaka huu. Nimefanyia nini Mungu? Ni ate gweke ile gai nimefanyia Mungu kazi gani? What difference have I made in my society? Kama wewe ukisimama wakati huu na useme wewe umeokoka, je, ambao wako karibu na wewe can they testify can they testify wanaweza toa ushuhuda waseme ya kwamba ni kweli huyu ameokoka matendo yake ambayo anayofanya ametenda they can oh my god sijui ni watu wangapi umeongelesha na umetia moyo oh jesus Oh Jesus na tu jombe tu mwenyewe kwa sababu nabii wa kwanza ni wewe utakaposema i can do it Oh wakati Musa alipoanza kutoa viji sababu Mungu alimwambia it is me na wakati alipoinsist alimwambia ndio ninakutuma lakini ninampatia ninakupatia ndugu yako Aaron muende na yeye lakini kwa nini Mungu akutume na mwingine na bado uko na huo uwezo You are young and useful as long as you're planning for tomorrow. Kama unahesabia kesho. Kama unatazamia kesho, you can make a difference. 
You can make a difference in the Kenya we have today. You can make a difference in the church today. You can make ah sakaronde bashataraba katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Mtu mmoja akasema utajiri ule mkubwa unapatikana katika kaburi. Kwa nini watu wamekufa bila kutimiza hatima zao? Watu wamekufa bila hata kutimiza ambayo Bwana alikuwa ametarajia watatimiza. People that could have made a difference, books that could have been written, songs that could have been sung, dances that could have been danced. Designer clothes that would have been designed. Oh my God. Na kwa nini usiambie Mungu tazama moyo wangu? Nisaidie Bwana nione ukuu wako ndani ya moyo wangu katika jina la Yesu. Help me to be a difference maker. To make a difference in the society katika mwili wa Kristo. Hata ingawa ninasikia niko mdhaifu, eh Bwana. Jesus. Omba ilo ombi kwa sababu wewe tu ndio nabii wako mwenyewe utakaposema nitaweza utakapojiambia the next year 2024 lazima nitameka difference lazima kutakuwa na tofauti maisha yangu yatanenea wengine nitainua wengine nita hata ingawa nimepitia uchungu nitasaidia wengine wasipitie uchungu kama ule kama umekuwa betrayed kama umepitia uchungu wa kusalitiwa usiende kusaliti wengine kwa sababu umesalitiwa ah kataa kutumiwa na shetani Inuka mwambie shetani sita wasaliti wengine ninatumia huo uchungu kusimama mara tena pray for yourself umesaidia wengi lakini wanakusaliti usichoke continue to do good my god Sharaba zate la groze paranda rekata roda bazai imanto sadriga bayanta rabaga katika jina la Yesu mwana nine dare ngokomera iheo shia kwa thine wale tware Jesu we hore mwambie bwana ninakata ninakata kulalia vipao ambavyo umetia ndani yangu i refuse to remain the same in the name of Jesus oh god Oh mwambie Bwana nisaidie. Daidia kai koroga ma. Nikaleta utofauti ndani ya kanisa lako. Kama ni fedha Bwana utanipatia mfalme wa ajabu. Nikaweza kusimama na kazi yako katika jina lako takatifu to bring a difference in the society, in the body of Christ. Oh Bwana. Ikarabo shata. Zelom pradaka bayala. Katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu I can make a difference Oh shanda mara rede tos rikaraba satayala wengine ninahisi ya kwamba uchungu nao pitia sio kwa sababu ya wewe ni kwa sababu ya wengine God is using that as a sermon that you may encourage another brother that you may encourage another sister ya kwamba nilipitia hiyo na nikatoboa na Mungu akaniinua oh ninahisi ya kwamba kuna wengine mnapitia mambo sio kwa sababu ya wewe ni kwa sababu ya wengine Mungu anatumia ula uchungu ili akaweza kuinua the society kama Joseph angepitia yale mambo wana wa Israeli wangekufa hakungekuwa na wana wa Israeli kwa sababu wakati baba yake Jacob alienda kule Egypt ah Biblia inasema ya kwamba walienda mahali ambapo kulikuwa na rotuba na Biblia inasema wakazana wakawa wengi and we now have the tribe of Israel kwa sababu Joseph alikubali kutumia uchungu aliopitia wa kusalitiwa na akaweza kusimama oh god wana wa Israeli wakaokoka na sio wana wa Israeli tu actually the whole world dunia mzima wakati ule ilifaidika kwa sababu Joseph alikubali kulipa gharama alitumia ule uchungu wa kusalitiwa na ndugu zake Alitumia ule uchungu wa kusalitiwa na ndugu zake. Na Bwana akamsaidia kusimama. Hakulipisha kisasi. He did not revenge. Oh God. Oh Bwana. Na sio tusaidia asubuhi ya leo Bwana kusimama. Tusaidie Bwana kutenda vile ambavyo umetuwezesha katika jina la Yesu. We thank you Jesus. Oh, we thank you Jesus. Oh, 
Hallelujah. Sharaba sekete lo brazaka. Oh, we thank you, Lord. verses 13 and 14 aliuliza Mungu kama huyu Mungu ama baba zetu ambao tunasikia habari ayuko kwa nini tupitie mambo mazito kama haya pengine hata wanajiuliza kama huyu Mungu judges chapter 6 verses 13 and 14 inaweza kuwa umepitia mambo mazito uchungu mbaya ni kama wajabezi lakini jabezi hakuraani mama yake hata kama ni alikuwa kosa ya uchungu ule. Bibi sema, Pardon me my lord, Gideon the pride. But if the lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where are all these wonders that our ancestors told us about when they said, Did not the lord bring us up out of Egypt? But now the lord has abandoned us and given us unto the hand of Midian. Alikuwa anauliza Mungu swali. Mungu alimjibu hii. The Lord turned to him and said, "Go in the strength you have and save Israel out of the Midian's hand. Am I not telling you?" Yale ka nguvu ambayo uko nayo kadogo and itumie hiyo nguvu. Haustahili kutafuta nguvu zingine upande ya nje. The small strength that you have, go with it and work wonders. Make a difference. Praise the name of the Lord. So just one minute that you are ready to serve the Lord. In whichever capacity that the Lord has called you. You have going to go in the strength that you have. Kama vile Mungu alijibu Gideon akamwambia go in the strength that you have and save the Israelites out of Egyptian hands. You can save the community. You can save the church. You can save your relatives. You can save people who are around you. But what is needed go with the small strength that you have. Tell the Lord, perhaps you have been misusing that strength. May the Lord help you. Mungu akusaidie. Hata katika majaribu na pain ambayo umepitia. Wengi tumepitia katika a lot of pain, but uh, God has used us to change the community, to change the family. Katika jina la Yesu. And it pass us out. Ambia for just for 2 minutes. Ambia the Lord that you have noticed the difference you get from today that you are wonderful and you are you are you are you are you are somebody you are wonderfully made na ujue kwamba wewe ukai kama mwenzako 
una nguvu ambaye Mungu amekupea kipawa ambaye Mungu amekupea ajapee mwenzako amekupea hiyo kipawa so that you may use it katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu thank you dear lord for the teaching of today we take it as our so god i take the teaching as my dear father and i pray forgive me java law aomba mungu akusamehe bahari ambapo hujatumia kipawa ambaye mungu amekupea to encourage you the others ati kwa sababu umepitia katika mama magonjwa umepitia katika mama zito lakini bwana alihitaji yale kufu kidogo ulioko naye uyatumie ili mungu aweze kujidhihirisha katika jina la Yesu Kristo thank you dear lord we give you praise we give you honor we give you all the adoration in the name of jesus christ everlasting father in jesus name there are some here passing through a lot of pain and they are asking themselves how can i be used of the law with, with the same pain that i'm passing through father in jesus name even at the time that joseph was in this prison he also used his his his, his talent to interpret the dream for other two people father in jesus name hakufungwa vipawa yake haikufungwa kwa sababu alitumia na katika jina la Yesu alitarajia kwamba huyo jamaa atamsaidia lakini alikaa gerezani miaka miwili he did not feel any pain for remaining in the prison for another two years even after helping somebody who was close to the to the king father in jesus name some of us here tumekuwa na hiyo uchungu ya kwamba tulisaidia mtu fulani lakini hata sasa hawezi kukumbuka katika jina la Yesu tunaomba Bwana atusaidie kuyasahau the uchungu ambao tumepitia so that we may work we may stand in our position and make a difference today katika jina la Yesu asante mfalme wa ajabu asante baba yangu na kushukuru na kuabudu Bwana katika jina la Yesu uko hapa na pengine ungependa kumtumikia Yesu kama mkombozi wa maisha yako uko hapa nataka kuokoka ninulie mkono wako juu we finish together we pray together in Jesus name you are here you are born again nasema kwamba mimi Mungu nataka uniokoe sasa ninulie mkono wako vizuri ili tuombe pamoja na wewe katika jina la Yesu ambia shetani si uokovu ni siku ya leo acha kuambia utaokoka kesho it is today that's why you came here today are you there you are not born again ungependa kuokoka mpatia maisha yako kwa Yesu ili akutumie na the strength the small strength you have are you there for the last chance in Jesus name father i want to thank you because of the service today i want to thank you because of the week that is starting tomorrow how i pray for each and every person represented here at the families that are represented here i pray for their safetyness i pray dear father for the for for your for the, your protection katika jina la yesu naomba ya kwamba bwana wa rehema kila mmoja ambaye yuko hapa jeova mfalme wa ajabu utatufikisha mwisho wa mwaka tutaona mwaka mpya tutaona miaka zingine tukiwa na nguvu ya kutumikia katika jina la yesu na tutageuka siku ya leo tutaanza ku make a difference in our family members in our community in the church in the, in the church that we are katika jina la Yesu na tukuza jina lako na liabudu jina lako na ni katika jina la Yesu nimeomba na kuamini shout amen shout amen amen amen